Show of hands. How many of you, when you were in school, were sent to the principal's office? Raise your hand. Oh, <laughs> a lot of early disruptors today. You were these silly little things, and now, well, you are taking over the world. Like the telephone did to the telegraph. Like the automobile did to the horse and buggy. More recently, we've seen Toyota disrupt General Motors, Netflix disrupted Blockbuster, and now cable TV. Disruptive innovation, it follows a framework. The disruptor secures a foothold at the low end of the market. Think Netflix in the 90s. Initially, its products were inferior, its position weak. Blockbuster could have crushed them like a cockroach, but they didn't. Market leaders rarely bother. It's just a silly little door-to-door -door DVD rental service. Let's go after bigger, higher margins, better. The bad news, or the good, depending on your point of view, is that once a disruptor gains a foothold, it too is motivated by bigger, better, stranger things. And so it goes. Personal disruption is how you take all these ideas and make them meaningful to you. You start at the bottom of a ladder, climb to the top, and then jump to the bottom of a new ladder, like the children's game shoots and ladders. Lady Gaga, she is a master of personal disruption. In 2008, she goes straight to the top of the charts, and what does she do for an encore? She jumps to the bottom of a new ladder, one that could easily have put off her fan base. What does she do? She collaborates with Tony Bennett on a jazz album. She does a Sound of Music tribute, Lady Gaga, at the Oscars, and she produces a country album. But the jump? It paid off. Her performance at the Super Bowl in 2017 had the largest music audience ever, and now a star is born. The big difference with personal disruption is that your Toyota and your General Motors, your Netflix and your Blockbuster, you're the silly little thing and you take over the world. Most of us, most of you in this room have to hold this tension because you're not a startup, it's not your first job. The old and new have to coexist because you are disrupting you.